It's great to be back here in Collinsville. Today we are announcing 100 new grants to our fire departments across the state of Illinois, $2.2 million, so our firefighters, our heroes, can be kept safe by having the latest technology and latest equipment uh, all across the state of Illinois for our firefighters. Good morning. You know who deserves the applause? It's not me. It's you in this room and across the great state of Illinois. Today, we are very blessed. Today, we stand in support of our heroes, our men and women of our fire departments and our paramedics. Those, you put your lives on the line. You put your personal safety at risk to protect the families of the state of Illinois. Let's give a round of applause for our firefighters, our heroes. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor for me to work for you every day. You deserve our utmost appreciation and our strongest support. And we're excited today to have $2.2 million to give to of more than 100 uh, fire departments around the state of Illinois. And I can promise you this, I'm fighting every day to have balanced budgets in the state of Illinois, actually surplus budgets, so we can fund more for our firefighters. You guys deserve the best equipment, the latest technology, the ultimate ways to keep yourself safe. We need to have the financial resources to support you because you're putting yourself on the line. We want you safe, and we want all the citizens and small business owners of this state kept safe right along with you. We're fighting to do it every day. Thank you for coming today, and I would like to extend a great welcome to the governor and the state fire marshal for, for coming to the city of Collinsville and announcing this great program. As firefighters go out on their daily lives and, and do what they think is, is their job, we, as the public, look at it as a glorious job, but it's really not a glorious job. They are the people fighting to keep our, our neighborhoods and our families safe. With technology growing and new improvements being made, it's hard for municipalities to keep up with that technology dollar-wise. And this grant program is going to help municipalities uh, work and, and give the firefighters the tools that they need to make sure that their daily job is much easier and keeps them safe. Right now, about half of our firefighters have got protective clothing, turnout clothing, that is due for replacement or is past due for replacement. I was able to purchase a couple of sets uh, right at the turn of the year, but because of budgetary restraints, it was gonna take two to three years to replace all of the gear that needs to be replaced. It's about $2,200 just for the coat and pants and another five to $600 for the helmet and the boots and the gloves and the other things that go along with that. Um, this gear is extremely important to our firefighters. Not only does it protect firefighters from thermal injuries, from burns when they go into burning buildings, but it also has a vapor barrier and a moisture barrier built into the clothing that protects firefighters from the gases, from the vapors, from the particular of uncombusted materials from smoke, from polyurethanes, plastics, and all the other things that scientists right now are finding out is giving firefighters cancer at higher rates than the rest of the population in the United States. Those vapor barriers, moisture barriers break down over time, so a set of gear is only good for about 10 years. So that's why it's so important for us to replace this gear as soon as possible. 